Hey guys, quick update. The starter engine is on. I'm sitting inside. I want to open the car. I mean, I want to start the car. Open it later. And um, yeah, let's hear the new starter engine and the difference. Okay, this is the first startup with the new upgraded uh, starter engine. So there you have it. The improvement is phenomenal. It went for like three seconds to one second. Now I have to wait for the car to warm up so I can see the hot start, which was the real problematic one. And uh, see you guys in a bit. So as you just heard, the improvement is phenomenal. I mean, it went from five seconds, five seconds to two, maybe one and a half, let's say, one and a half seconds. And that's pretty noticeable. If you're having a hot starts problem or a delays when you want to uh, turn on the engine, one of the first things to look at is definitely the starter, uh, the starter engine. It was the old faulty one, NHH1, I think, yeah. Um, that, that engine has that uh, mistake on it and um, as soon as you upgrade to the NHZ1 the problem gets solved uh, immediately. So there you have it. Uh, the cost of the engine was uh, I think around 100 euros with uh, shipping and everything from the United Kingdom. Kingdom. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I had it fitted uh, by a mechanic uh, but if you're skilled enough there's also a video on YouTube by a uh, some guy that shows you how to install it so um, if you got skills and you got time i definitely would recommend to check that out and if you think you could manage well why not try <laughs> and uh that's it for today uh i'll see you on my next next vlog which will be on um on my airbox yeah uh one of the common uh issues is when you want to change the air filter you just can push the box back enough to get it out of uh, of it so um, i decided to modify the box to do it quickly and uh, i've tried it and i replaced the filter in about maybe 30 seconds or so so yeah this one thing that i look forward to showing you on the next video thanks for watching